So if you've been uploading all of your shorts through your phone up until now, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can upload your shorts through your PC. Let's jump in. All right, so we're just gonna head over to youtube.com. We're signed into our account that we wanna upload this to. And I'm just gonna click on the create button here. And we're gonna click on upload video. And you can do one of two things. You can either drag and drop files into here or select files. Now, one of the nice things about uploading using your PC is you can upload multiple videos at one time. So let's say you have, you know, a week's worth of videos or 10 videos that you wanna upload. You can transfer all of those over at once. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up our file explorer here. So you just wanna to navigate to where your videos are on your computer. And let's say we wanna upload these three. So we're just gonna click that, drag it over, and it's gonna upload all three of those videos at once. So this is a nice way of being able to utilize multiple videos. You can see once it started uploading the videos, it took me to the YouTube studio. You can see that up here in the corner. Or you could directly go to that just by adding and uploading the videos from here with that create button. Uh, and you can upload up to 15 videos at one time, and then you can always add more as you need to. Okay, so you can see down here as it's uploading these videos, they're popping up here and they'll first pop up in the videos category. And once it detects those as shorts, if it meets that those qualifications, it'll move it over to the shorts category. Okay, so we'll just hop over to shorts here and you can see right here, we got a couple of these that are popped up. So once they are, this is in draft mode right now and you can see they're still, it's still working on getting all these kind of squared away, but we can start adding the other information to get these posted. So you click on the pencil icon here. It takes you to the screen. You can add a title. We're going to call this key metrics for your videos, and you can add a description here. I'm just going to leave this as the default description. Now, one important distinction is on your desktop, you're not able to change the thumbnail. It's gonna just automatically select one of the early frames of your video, which you do have control over on the mobile device. So you can always go into the mobile and change that if you need to. If you're not concerned about what the thumbnail is, you could certainly do this through your desktop. You can add it to the playlist, go to shorts. You do need to select that it's not made for kids. If it's not made for kids, yes, if it is made for kids. And then you can add show more. They have your altered content. We want to say no. You can add your tags in here if you have some of those. And then we click next. And this is one of the powerful tools, in my opinion, of what you can do with the shorts is it has an option here to add a related video. You can't put any links into your YouTube shorts. They'll just be text. You won't be able to click on those. That's something recently that YouTube changed, but you can add a related video. So you click on add and you could select a video that you want that to link to. Usually it's best practice to link it to a full video, which you can include the links and you can include all the different information in there. And then you could also edit the subtitles. Now, as long as you have a language select, so if you click on edit, it's going to first give you all the auto detection and you could go through here and just edit this out to make sure that it is exactly how you want it. Add some commas in there, click through. So that's CTAs. And then once you have that done, you go over to next. It's going to check for copyrights. Nothing was found. Sometimes if you get into the video too early, it'll still be working on this, but you can see in my case, it has a check mark saying that it, that has been approved. Click on next, and then you change your visibility. You could either set it to private or unlisted or public if you want it to post right now. Or in my case, I'm just going to have this scheduled for tomorrow at 12 p.m. And then you just click on schedule and there you go. Everything is saying that it's ready. It's set to go public tomorrow. It has all the information for it. And then you have a link here. If you want to be able to share that, you close that out and that's done. And with that, you have your video ready to go. And I did it all through my desktop. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.